I know in other studies, sugar has been shown to feed other types of cancer. Is that true in prostate? Only in certain rare exceptions. Very, very advanced prostate cancer, uh, when it gets out of control and spreads all over the body, can learn how to feed on sugar. This question of what is the cancer feeding on can be answered by looking at the results of different types of PET scans. Some PET scans use sugar, some use amino acids, some use fats, and those substances are injected into the bloodstream, and if the cancer feeds on sugar, the sugar concentrates inside the cancer cells, and then that lights up as a tumor uh, because there's a radioactive component that's added to the uh, sugar, and that can be seen on the scan. So if you do typical FDG glucose PET scans in men with earlier stage prostate cancers, they don't show any real activity at all. Uh, but they do light up with amino acid scans and fat scans. And this is probably why we've uh, seen in various studies that vegetarian diets, which don't have animal protein and animal fats, uh, seem to have an inhibitory effect on prostate cancer growth. So the uh, answer then is only in exceptional cases do prostate cancers feed on glucose or sugar. Men that have prostate cancers that uh, feed on sugar have widespread advanced disease, usually heavily pretreated, and uh, these are the types of people that probably should be on some sort of chemotherapy. So, okay, then do doctors use glucose PET scans regularly with their patients? Well, certainly they do with lung cancer and lymphoma. But with prostate cancer, if I see a glucose scan being ordered, to me it's a sign that the doctor doesn't really know much about prostate cancer because they're almost always going to be completely clear. So we should probably also let patients know more often in the advanced cases that they should be getting a glucose PET scan to make sure it feeds on sugar? Or is that not really something that they need to know in the advanced stage because the treatments aren't really going to change once they know that or not? Yeah, it's uh, not likely to show anything. Uh, even in many cases with advanced disease, they don't light up. Uh, so the, uh, the new PSMA PET scans now, those are uh, going to be used almost universally, and probably in the future, they'll be the only scan that's used. They're so accurate, uh, there's no need to do additional scans beyond that. So if you have questions that you would like me to ask Dr. Scholes in the future, you can go ahead and leave that in the YouTube comments below, and we will pick them up from there. And in the meantime, if you have more questions that you would like to ask to a person, somebody who can talk to you about your prostate cancer case as an individual, our helpline is available to you. And you can go ahead and uh, submit your questions at pcri.org. For more information about prostate cancer in general, you could also visit our website and please subscribe to our videos, like, and give us a big thumbs up if you think uh, that these are good and you would like to see these in the future. And as always, we love you very much and we will see you next week.